Hello everyone, I'm Brian with Robbins Plumbing and today we're going to talk about unjamming your disposal. First things first, you flip that switch and suddenly all you hear is humming. That means that the disposal is actually jammed up. Immediately turn that switch back off because you don't want to pop the breaker or worse, potentially burn up the motor. If you flip that switch and you don't hear humming and nothing happens, then there's a chance you just accidentally tripped the internal breaker on the disposal. If you look at the bottom of the disposal, you're gonna find that there's gonna be a little red button right there. That is the internal circuit breaker. All you do is push that, you should hear a click and you're back in business. Go ahead and try flipping that switch back on and see if you've got power. In this kind of way, we'll be able to see that the inside of the disposal actually has your little propellers that push food out to the outside of what looks like a cheese grater. And the reason why they actually get jammed is because food that hasn't gotten all the way flushed through from the previous use can sometimes still be jammed in wedged into that cheese grater section. And disposal is actually weakest at startup and strongest when it's actually up and running and moving along. That's why during normal usage, when you know you're putting stuff down there, you want to get it up and running with water before you start putting things down the disposal. If you turn that off too soon, you might still have stuff in there, and then when that thing starts to fire up again, it just doesn't have the oomph to get going. So that's how jams usually start, on top of obviously things that aren't supposed to be down there to begin with. Although some people may get away with it, we really don't recommend putting things like chicken bones and stuff like that, but I have seen lots of things over the years end up down a disposal beer caps, shot glasses, silverware, toothpicks, screws, nails, the list goes on and on. Chances are 80% of you are going to have a disposal manufactured by Insincurator. If you have an Insincurator disposal, it came with an alum key that's going to be used for manually unjamming the disposal. Insincurator, to the best of my knowledge, is the only manufacturer that actually does offer this feature. And you're gonna find the actual access point here at the bottom of the disposal. It's gonna be right there in the dead center and that's where you can actually install the Allen key and manually turn that motor and get whatever's in there unjammed, unjammed. And then you actually wanna go back and forth a couple times, make a couple circles around there, make sure that the disposal motor is actually moving freely again. Always, always, always remove the key before you try turning the disposal on, otherwise it's going to hurt. If you don't have a disposal that's manufactured by Insincurator, chances are you're probably not gonna have that option with the key, with the Allen key. So in that particular case, those manufacturers actually recommend you take something like a wooden spoon or a broom handle, something of that sort, make sure that the disposal is unplugged, and you're actually going to enter or put it down in the disposal and try and catch on one of your impellers in there and physically try to unjam the disposal. Same thing, you wanna try and get it moving back and forth a couple times rotate it, it's not gonna be easy, but it's doable. Remove it, plug it back in, turn it back on, see if we're actually running again. I hope this video was helpful today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 623-486-4657. We can also be reached at robinsplumbing.com. Thank you and have a great day.